the industry's reputation has been rejuvenated by, by the situation. Uh, but that said, there is a second pa uh, epidemic happening right now. I think of it as a syndemic, and it, it doesn't get enough attention that at the same time the pandemic is taking hold, healthcare systems have fallen behind on cancer diagnosis, cardiovascular diagnosis, diagnosis of so many chronic conditions. And I think this is gonna be an interesting moment as we transition out of the pandemic response, hopefully over the coming months, how will healthcare systems rise to the occasion of chronic disease? Mm -hmm. We've learned that in many ways, companies can collaborate much better together on designing clinical trials, not wasting effort in clinical trials, collaborating on how we assess different um, uh, projects. Could we apply that, for instance, in cancer? Rather than all of us doing the same cancer trial, could we work together to do a basket trial? Um, that would be so much more efficient, and that would speed up drug development. We have seen tests in huge quantities made available throughout the world. We have seen several well-functioning vaccines developed within less than a year and made available in hundreds of millions of doses. And this was only possible because all these stakeholders, given the urgency of the situation, were forced to trust each other. And it worked. So for me, really having all data in one in one place and really um, allowing all players in the healthcare system to having uh, a, a view on my on my data set um, to really improve healthcare decisions and ultimately um, treatment journeys. This is um, one very fundamental change we need to see in the system.